previously on Scary Survival. She may be able to help you. She? Who's she? Wait, what is this, guys? He's given me a map? Wait, that's the scientist! You need to bring the map to life? Follow me. What is this right now, guys? Wait, what is Magic Steve doing to it? Okay. Where is Magic Steve taking us? I mean, this looks like a room where we could build a machine. Get the lever right now, guys. Is that doing anything? Being sucked up. Wait, guys, look. The map. It popped out of that dispenser. This looks exactly the same. Uh, scientist. Wait, guys, the map. It's talking. Please help me. What's up guys, AY Stream here with another episode of the Scary Survival Season 2. And today we're going to be trying to communicate with the scientist through this map. To try and figure out a way to set her free. Now, I have no idea how much longer we have to talk with her before the life essence runs dry and runs out. So let's not waste another moment. Time is of the essence here, guys. We need to set her free. So scientists, if you can still hear us, we're trying to break you out of this map, but honestly, I have no idea what to do. I have no experience with this at all. You're supposed to be the one with the big brain. I mean, you're a scientist, so do you know how we can get you out of this map? We'll do it, you just need to tell us. I'm not actually trapped in the map? Huh? Uh, scientists, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, you're kind of inside the map. I mean, you're talking to me through it. I'm holding you in my hand. My soul is being carried in this map. My body is not. Uh, what? Your soul is in the map? I can kind of see you in the map, though, so I don't, un I don't understand. The other scientist is a fake. Another clone. What? I will explain everything, but I need your help. Huh? Hades is torturing me? No! No, we need to do, we need to set her free. I don't think I can last much longer. Okay, scientists, this is great, but how are we supposed to save you? I, I need to get you out of there. How do we do this? I'm being held at the coordinates, 666 That's the location of the corrupt stronghold behind the lava. She's behind that lava fall, guys. That's where we went. That's how we got stuck in this dimension. Okay, she's at the corrupt stronghold. We can save you. No, no, we can't, we can't save you. We're stuck in the void dimension, scientists. There is no way to get out, and we don't know how to get to you. The void dimension? Yes! That, you might be able to teleport. Teleport? How, with like a portal or something? Through the map? You're telling me I can teleport through maps in Minecraft? Using an old Minecraft glitch. What? Have you guys heard about this? Let me know in the comments down below. But it could go wrong. Oh, I don't know, guys. What do we do? Corrupt Steve, what do we do? Oh, it could go wrong. It could go right. But we don't have a choice, guys. This is the only possible lead we have for getting out of here, out of this void dimension. And, like, maybe we could find a safer way, but who knows how long that would take, and we really have no other hints, clues. Even Magic Steve doesn't know, and we're completely useless while we're stuck here. And the scientist says that she's being tortured and she might not be able to last much longer. We just have to take the risk, guys. We have to do this. All right, scientists, what do we do? Tell me, we'll do it. The cultists follow their instructions. The cultists, they know? To break the code of Minecraft. To break the code, uh, scientist woman, that ain't sound like such a good idea. Eve, I know like you've done some pretty crazy stuff before, but breaking the actual code of Minecraft, I mean, the side effects of that, who knows what that could ha cause to the game, guys, to my computer. Do you have another way? A better way? Hello? Scientist? Hello? Knock, knock. Anyone there? Hello? She's not responding anymore, guys. Why? There's absolutely no response. It seems the life essence has dried out, it's worn out. We can no longer communicate with the scientist. That means there's only one thing we gotta do, Corrupt Steve. We're going to have to break the code 
of Minecraft. Now, what did the scientist say? She said to ask the cultists. That means we gotta go find Magic Steve and we need to ask him how we're supposed to break the code of Minecraft. Which means we gotta get out of here. All right, well, let's hope, guys, we can find a way out of here. I mean, that was the door out, but finding Magic Steve could be a little bit harder. I'm going to assume he might be somewhere at the cells or at the Crimson Keep, but I don't know how to get to the Crimson Keep from here because we got teleported down here by Magic Steve's wizardry powers. Can we even... Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, don't tell me we can't get through this door. Okay, I don't know if this door's gonna open for us or not, guys, but we might have to find another way out here. But right now, guys, for some luck for us to figure out a way to find Magic Steven, we can find him. So, guys, right now, I need you to go down below and leave a like. One like equals one luck for today's video for us to somehow figure out a way to get through this door, or maybe we're gonna have to try looking for alternate exits, guys. But we need to find Magic Steve because we gotta figure out how to save the scientists. So, right now, we're going for 10. Thousand likes and as always guys make sure to slap the subscribe button hit that bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an episode and oh my goodness the door had opened guys you leaving a like actually brought good luck it actually opened the door just guys thank you to all of you who have already left a like but we still need more good luck for today's video especially because i still have no idea where we're going to find magic steve so right now guys Go down below if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe. And of course, if you have no idea what is going on in this series right now, guys, you don't know where we are, what's happening, and why this series is actually really important to potentially the future of Minecraft and how we play the game forever, you might want to watch the previous episodes in this series by hitting the little I in the top left or right-hand corner or by hitting the link in the description below. But here we are, guys, coming back into the... Crimson prisons here. Oh, guys, I'm having flashbacks of being trapped inside these prisons. It was not pleasant, I'll tell you that much. There are the Crimson guys. That was the cell we were in, guys. So, Magic Steve, do you think he'll be around here? I mean, he's not in here, and I don't really expect to see him inside any of the prison cells. Not in there. Oh, guys, I don't know where we're going to find him. Like, if anything, I'd expect him to be at the Crimson Keep, not down here in the jail cells. Is he in here? Nope, not in there. Anywhere? He's not at all down here, guys. Ah, but this is the only place we know how to get to from the lab. Like, there are all these cells down here, but... Magic Steve isn't here. He'll be at the Crimson Keep. At least, that's what I reckon. That's the most likely place we're going to find him. But I just don't know where the Crimson Keep is supposed to be or how to get out of here. I mean, we just magically teleported in here. Oh. Guys, look at this. It looks like some sort of, like, giant path, and it just goes all the way up there. How far up does that go? I can't even see because of how tall that area is. Do you think that might lead to the surface? I mean, it seems we're in some sort of underground cavern prison dungeon thing. Perhaps that will lead us out of here and maybe to the Crimson Keep where we might be able to find Magic Steve. I know it's a little bit of a long shot here, guys, but really we don't have a lot of other leads. We're going to just have to trust my gut here, guys, and hope that going up here will lead us to Magic Steve. All right, here's a ladder. Look at this, guys. Holy moly, this path is absolutely huge. I don't know how long we're going to be walking for, guys, but something tells me it's going to be quite a bit. Look, even past a bedrock. Look at this. The walls are literally made out of bedrock. And look at this. What is this? Some sort of giant, like, tree root? Like a trunk root? This is really, really quite strange. And guys, look. We're getting near the top here. I really hope this will lead us towards Magic Steve for you guys. Whoa, look at this. Stairs. Up until red nether brick. This is the same stuff that the Crimson Keep was made out of. Do you think we're inside the Crimson Keep right now? <gasps> Guys, we made it! We're at the Crimson Keep! This is the same room we fought Magic Steve. Is he here? Is he in? <gasps> Guys! Magic Steve is right. Magic Steve! Whoa, 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 whoa! Put that thing down. We're friendly, I promise, okay? We're not trying to hurt you. We have some questions. The map you gave us with the scientists trapped inside of it. She said that there might be a way to do it, but we needed to break 
the code of Minecraft. Do you have any of idea or clue what she's talking about? He's thinking, guys. He's thinking. Ah, oh, fingers crossed here. Break the code. There is a glitch for that. Yes, yes. That's what the scientist said. She said there was a glitch. That's what we need to do. But if you do it wrong, what happens if we do it wrong, guys? Why did the scientist say the exact same thing? I'm really beginning to freak out about what this glitch entails. The consequences will be dire. Dire. Oh, no, guys. I don't want to lose another PC to this series. The amount of times my game has been corrupted. Follow me. All right. Take us wherever you need to right now, guys. Where is he going? He's going back down? Huh? All right. Well, I guess we're going straight back down. I, if he plummet takes us all the way back to the mine, guys, after we did all that walking to get here, I'm going to be really frustrated. He's just standing here. What is he holding? What is that thing, guys? Huh? For us? He gave Corrupt Steve one as well, and he's got one too. What is he doing with it? Wait, he just jumped off the side. Wait, what? He's using it to, like, somehow float him in the air. Oh, he's going down. Wait, guys, look. He used it to, like, control the air. He's, like, using it to slow his fall. Wait, we should have it here. The Sword of Zephyr. Can we use that too? Wait, let's try this, guys. <gasps> guys, look! I can use it to float and, like, levitate. I can bend the air right now. Okay. Magic Steve has some serious awesome magic powers, but we should be able to jump down and follow him, Corrupt Steve. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Okay. We just got to do it. Are you ready? In three, two, one, jump off the edge. Wait, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Okay. I just saved myself a time, guys. All right, we can do this. I'm controlling. I'm literally controlling the air right now. This is awesome. All right, down we come. Down we come. Slowly does it. No fall damage. That is awesome. Magic Steve, you got some really awesome powers. All right, where is he going now? We just got to follow him here, guys, and see where he leads us. really wish Minecraft had, like, phones so I could, you know, text Magic Steve down here from this giant dungeon prison thing and be like, hey, we need your help. Instead of having to walk all the way up there to the Crimson Keep and all the way back down here. Look, he's literally taking us right back here. What was the point of we walked all the way up? Guys, honestly, this is, this is my cardio for the day. This is my flat out exercise. Oh, he stopped. What is he doing? He's looking. Oh, that door. Is that blocking off whatever we can use to break the code in Minecraft? He's going up to it, guys. Oh. Guys, look, it's opening. What in the world? What is this? All right, just keep following Magic Steve, guys. Where are he taking us right now? We're about to find out. Ah, oh, guys, this is creepy. Look at the lights, the way they turn on. Yeah, great. This just makes me feel so comforting. Whatever's down here at the end of this log hole must be pretty dangerous for him to want to put it this far down. Ah, oh, I don't like this at all, guys. All right, here we go. Final door. Open. What in the world is this, guys? Holy moly. Is that like a nether portal thing going on? What is happening in this room? There is so much happening in this room right now, guys. What in the world? Follow these instructions? Are these the instructions to break the code of Minecraft, guys? Look at this. The Disruptor by the Crimson Alchemist. What in the world? Look at this. And if you ever need me, just read this book. Ah, oh, thank you, because I don't want to go chasing after you again. All right, let's see, guys. What did he give us? A Magic Steve book. I guess this is some way to communicate with him. I don't know. Magic Steve. Where did Magic Steve go? He's just... Okay. Bye, Magic Steve. See ya, I think. He really is... He really likes just leaving us with books, doesn't he, Corrupt Steve? He's a strange man, that Magic Steve. Well, I suppose he's a busy guy. He's got this whole castle crimson operation to run. So we better not keep him. We need to, on the other hand, figure out a way to save the scientists from this map. And figure out how we can... What did she say? Teleport through the map? That's what we're trying to do? Alright, let's see whether this disruptor can help us. Let's have a look. The dimensional disruptor. Highly dangerous and game-breaking glitch. Can temporarily break the interdimensional barriers between the nether and the end. What? Allowing travel between all dimensions through a single Stargate map. So we're essentially trying to use the map as like a portal? If the Stargate becomes unstable due to the displacement of dimensions, destroy it immediately before all the dimensions are merged. Okay, I don't really know what that means. 
but it ain't sounding good at all. So again, guys, for luck, leave a like down below. And if you know what this all means, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you think you know what it means, I'm interested to hear your opinions, guys. Let me know now. The source is the Crimson Keep. All right, one, we need to mine refined obsidian using a living sentient apparatus? Huh? What in the world is a living sentient mining apparatus? Okay, I know what a mining apparatus is. It's something you use to mine. It's like a machine. So I'm assuming... I don't know. These guys use fancy words for things. I'm assuming we should just be able to use our pickaxe to mine up this refined obsidian. And for the... As for the mi uh, refined obsidian, I mean, there's all this obsidian just sitting here. I'm assuming we should just be able to mine it up with a pickaxe. Let's give it a go here, guys. I'll grab my pickaxe out and we'll try mining up this obsidian. I can't, guys, I can't dig it up. Look at this. I literally can't dig it up. I'm holding here, guys, and it's not even damaging at all. Okay, it's not going to be as simple as I'd hoped to be. Let's have a look here again at the book and see whether we can get any more clues as to what we're actually supposed to do. All right. Using a living sentient mining apparatus. Maybe we need to somehow make our pickaxe living because maybe this isn't normal obsidian. Well, I mean, it calls it refined obsidian, whatever that means. A living mining sentient. Maybe we can find this mining apparatus in a chest around here, guys. Let's have a look. There's a chest over here. What's in here? Life essence buckets, a dragon egg, flint and steel. N nothing too interesting there. We're also going to get rid of some of this trash. I have, I have just a bunch of rubbish in my inventory I do not need, guys. I probably don't need uh, the cast projector. Don't need that. We don't need the incarnator anymore, guys. And we don't need the metalum. All right. We've got a bit more inventory space, but we still don't have what we're looking for. What's this up on the wall? Displacement rune? Nope, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something that's called a sentient mining apparatus. Rune of capacity. I mean, there's like pickaxes and axes and swords in here, but that's not really useful for us at all. Wait, what does that say? The sentiator? Uh, I mean, that kind of sounds like the word sentient, guys. I don't know. Why do these guys have such confusing terms for everything? But that sounds like it could be something. Do you reckon? And that's like, that's, what a, that's an arcane pedestal, guys. We should be able to place... An item on that. Do you think... Wait, and there were pickaxes in here. Maybe if we place the pickaxe here? Hmm. That's not doing anything at all, guys. Maybe we're missing something? I mean, there's like a space there. Wait, this chest is right next to the sentiator, guys. If I've learned anything from this series, it's that usually the chest next to the machine is important. Maybe that's what this rune of capacity is for then? I mean, it's worth a shot. We're kind of running on a limb here, guys, but let's just place that in there. Does that do anything? Wait, guys, look! It's doing something! Okay, I think it's working! I think it's working! Yes, yeah, please, please, please! What is going on right now, guys? Holy moly! <gasps> what did it- What did it just do to the pickaxe? We need to check this out right here, guys. What is this? The sentient pickaxe! Yes! This is exactly what we needed! Alright, guys, I'm going to trust my gut more from now often- From now- More- More now often is what I'm trying to say here, guys. I'm just so excited because that- I can't believe that actually worked. All right, guys, for future reference, the chest next to the machine, usually they're related. All right, now what do we need to do? So we need to mine the refined obsidian. Let's hope this works here, guys. All right. Three, two, one. Is it working? I think it's working, guys. Yes. We just mined up the obsidian. Awesome. All right, let's just get as much refined obsidian as we can. It didn't say how much we need, but I reckon we'll just dig up a bunch and then we'll move on to the next step here, guys. All right, one, two, three. I reckon we could probably settle for 12. That'd be pretty good. I think that's what we're going to go for here. All right. Okay, the sentient pickaxe just broken me. Looks like we're settling with five. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, guys, what? Why did it break? Okay, we're just going to keep following the steps here. Two, we need to open a portal to the nether using only refined obsidian. I'm assuming we're going to use this thing, guys. I mean, that's like an almost finished portal to the nether. If we place the obsidian here, wait. They really are perfectionists here. Guys, look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Exactly the amount of obsidian the sentient pickaxe was able to mine up. <laughs> that is insane! Alright, what? who made this? The Crimson Alchemist? You know, these Crimson Cultists are seriously good at making and designing their machines. They are beyond our science in the real world, guys. That is insane. They've perfected this. Alright, so we've got that nether portal. We need to light it, though. I remember, I think there was a flint and steel in here. Yes, there was. Alright, fantastic. Let's get this bad boy going. Three, two, one, bam! Alright, portal to the nether complete. Fantastic. What's our next step here, guys, for the disruptor? Three. Fire concentrated life essence matter to shatter the portal into portal residue. 
What? What does that mean, guys? I'm so confused. We need to shatter the portal using light, concentrated life essence to make it into portal residue. We need to shatter it, shatter it, shatter it. Do you see anything corrupt, Steve, that might be used to shatter this thing? I mean, we've learned so far that usually what we need is already in the room. I mean, there's a bunch of life essence here. So, I mean, somehow maybe it has to do with that. And we could use the buckets to... I think there were buckets in this chest. Yeah, there were plenty of buckets in here, guys. We could use those buckets to grab this life essence. But, I don't know. It said concentrated life essence. It's not like we can just, like, grab these life essence buckets and just pour them on the nether portal. Can we? I don't know. Hmm. Shatter the portal. Maybe we could just break it with a pickaxe, perhaps? Maybe we don't need to do this whole concentrated life essence thing. Can we... Nope. All right. You could not break portals that way. We need to find another way to shatter that portal somehow. Ah... Uh... What's Corrupt Steve looking at, guys? He's trying to get my attention. What is that thing? He wants us to use this? I mean, that's an empty tank. Can we put the life essence in here? Let's try. Oh, we can, guys. Look, we can put the life essence inside this thing. And I mean, I mean, that's pointing towards the portal. And there's another one over there. Maybe we need to fill up these two tanks with life essence. And there are levers here. Maybe that's somehow connected to these machines and they'll like fire the life essence. It said fire, fire like a laser, right? It'll fire the concentrated life essence out of these things into the portal, shattering it. I think that's out. I think that will work. I mean, I hope it'll work anyway, guys. Here, let's go ahead and grab out our life essence buckets. We've got to fill these bad boys up. Grab Steve, can you give me a hand? There are buckets over in that chest there. We've got to fill up. Can you go fill up that side with life essence, please? All right, cool. Corrupt is doing that, guys, and we can fill up this side here. I don't know how much we're supposed to put in here, but, I mean, we'll just put as much as we can. I need to get rid of all this junk in my inventory, guys. We're so full up. We don't need that lever. We probably don't need... The, we don't need those kinesis pipes. We definitely need the mind powers still. Um, hmm, what else do we need? We'll put the redstone in there for now as well. All right. Now we've got a bit more room to work with with our buckets here, guys. All right, let's go ahead and fill this up. Can we just... We can just keep taking it out of this. Fantastic. All right, let's fill ourselves up with beautiful old... Nope, that is the water bucket. <laughs> let's fill ourselves up with that life essence there, guys. And we will transfer it over to our tank here. All right, bang, boom, bop, boom, bang, and a bloop. All right, that's almost full. I think it just needs one more bucket, and that should do it. All right, let's jump over here. And fantastic. All right. And we need to go fill up that one over there. Corrupt Steve is on that. We'll go give him a hand as well. All right. Bop, bop, bam. And let's go ahead and fill this one up as well, guys. Bang. Bop, bop, bam. All right. We're almost there, guys. It's got to be so close now. And all right. And finally, let's go. Bum, bop, 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 bop. And we are done. All right. We filled up both sides here. And it's not doing anything. I'm really hoping those levers do something. All right, Corrupt Steve, you man that lever. I'm going to come over to this one here. And we're going to hit them at the same time. And hopefully this will do something, guys. At least my fingers are crossed that it's going to do something. All right, Corrupt Steve, ready? In three, two, one. Hit the lever. Is that doing anything, guys? Corrupt Steve hits his lever. Uh, oh, guys, look. What's happening right now? Yes, guys, it's working. Look. The life vest has been stuck up. It's fine, the lasers. Yes, check it out. Whoa, what is going up at the top? Are you seeing this, guys? This is insane. What just happened? <gasps> guys, look. This is getting sucked into the portal white sparkly thing. I don't know what that is, guys. Wait, didn't the book mention that? I think it called it, uh, what was it? Um, 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 um. Let's have a check here, guys. Portal residue. That must be what this white sparkly stuff is right here, guys. Okay. We must have done that right because the portal is shattered. We've got this portal residue left over here. The viz is flowing into it. And as you guys can see, the life essence has been used up from those tanks. Fantastic. All right, let's move on to our next step here, guys. We don't have time to waste. Four, create interdimensional links by feeding the portal residue with an item from both the end and the nether. Okay, so what I'm interpreting for that is we need to put an item from the end and the nether inside that portal residue to somehow feed it, whatever that means. I don't really understand what that means there, guys. We're going to have to figure this out. I mean, there's like end items here. We could maybe dig some of this stuff up. Was there anything in the chest, though? A dragon egg. We can use that. Fantastic. And then there's like nether items over here. So I'm assuming there should be a chest nearby. <gasps> nether star. Fantastic. All right, let's grab that. We've got the nether star. We've got the dragon egg. Let's go ahead and chuck that in here. Bang. Bop. All right. Uh, did that work? Is that supposed to be... Did I mess up the steps somehow, guys? 
Check back over the book here. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Five. Oh, we've got to merge these links by displacing them with the displacement rune. A displacement rune? Wait, I saw that before somewhere, guys. I got deja vu. Was it over there on the wall? Displacement rune. That looks like some sort of crafting recipe. I think, I, I'm hoping it is anyway. All right, let's take out these items here, guys. Uh, jump. Uh, I'm short. I'm really short, guys. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting flashbacks to real life. I hate being short. All right, let's grab these items. Bang. All right, and the recipe was, oh, no. Guys, I really hope I can remember this. Okay, I think it was stone on the outside. And then there were like water buckets, I think. Oh no. The blank rune was in the center. And then this weird imbued slate, whatever this is, was at the bottom. Yes, I think it made something. The displacement rune. That's what we want. All right, we grab that here, guys. We can grab out our buckets again. I really do not need this many buckets. Let's get rid of those. All right, bang, boop. All right, so we've got the displacement room now. What's next here? Uh, let's grab out the book. What do we do with this? We need to merge these links by displacing them. So do we just chuck the displacement room on with the rest of these items? I think so. Blip. Did that do something? Uh... Whoa! Okay, yep, that did something. Whoa, check that out, guys. It just transformed all of the obsidian into crying obsidian there. Okay, I'm assuming we're on the right path now that it's actually doing something, guys. Fantastic. Okay, that makes me a bit more comfortable, but I'm still really worried. If we stuff something up, who knows what could go wrong, guys. All right, six. We need to energize the portal residue and displacement rune via redstone. So I'm assuming we just need to plug in some redstone power. There was redstone in this chest. Bang. Uh, and there was a lever as well, so we should be able to set that up. We can put the lever... Oh, there's already a lever here for us. Perfect. All right, so then... In that case, we just wire this redstone up into the machine. That should do the trick. And then we hit the lever. All right. Three, two, one. Whack. Is that doing something? Guys, look. It's stuck in the trouble. Whoa, it's pulling this place the rooms out of the ground, guys. Out of those nether portals. Holy moly. Watch this. Whoa. What's still going? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Is that an ender portal? No way. What? Okay, this definitely is some weird game-breaking Minecraft glitch. First off, it just pulled out displacement runes out of these nether portals here, guys. And then it turned our upright nether portal into a crying obsidian end portal. That is the end portal right there, guys. But it's got nether portal particles? My brain is breaking right now. What? I am so confused. This is literally cursed Minecraft, guys. I've never seen an upright end portal in my life. They're only ever flat. And it's inside a nether portal frame right now. This is this is so bizarre. So str I literally have never seen anything quite like it. Guys, if you know what this mutiny is, let me know in the comments down below. That is so strange. Okay. But we're definitely doing the steps right, guys. Because that is definitely breaking the code of Minecraft. That should definitely not happen. Look at this. This is so trippy right now, guys. What in the world? All right. I'm certain we are breaking the code right now. What's up next? All right. Seven, pass the temporary Stargate map through the nether end portal. Look, even it's calling it a nether end portal. So it is literally a mixture. It is a merging of the nether and the end in a single portal. This is crazy, guys. And then we've got to enter the Stargate. Okay, so we've got to pass our Stargate map through this thing. All right, so do we just walk through it? I don't really want to walk through that in case it takes me to the end, guys. And technically only the map has to go through it. So I guess we just throw the map through this thing. Right, here goes nothing, guys. In three, two, one. Throw the map through. Whoa! It, okay, it broke the whole thing. What is happening to the map right now? What is going on to the map? Uh, guys, what is that? Wait, guys, look. Some sort of weird portal thing just appeared above the map. That is insane. What is that? That must be the start. Wait, what did they call it? The Stargate. That must be the Stargate. So now we just have to walk into it? Oh, guys, I do not like this at all. All right, this could be it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, though. We're gonna save the scientists, guys. We're getting out of the void dimension. You ready, Corrupt Steve? Let's do this in three, two, one, and jump! <laughs> 